Alrighty, here we have Panic Porcupine being played on Nintendo Switch, courtesy of Huff Studios, the uh, publisher. So this is a wonderful game. Um, it is a... To me, it, it feels like it's it's Sonic meets Battle Kid. <laughs> it is a precision-style platformer that plays kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog, only you play as Panic the Porcupine. And your goal is to uh, traverse each uh, each level, uh, rescuing your uh, your animal friends, these birds, um, and you have to um, gather eggs instead of rings. And depending on how many um, how many eggs you get, um, will determine if you get the golden egg. If you end up missing any eggs. Um, the eggs will splatter on the screen at the end of the level, which I think is kind of cool. Um, again, very heavy influences by Sonic the Hedgehog. You can definitely tell that. Uh, just based on what you're seeing here, the gameplay footage. I'm going to go back to the map. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm going to do stage... I'm going to do stage 1. So, pretty, pretty cool little game, honestly, it, it's a beautiful looking game. Um, you have infinite lives, uh, there, are no there are no checkpoints, so if you end up, um, <laughs> if you end up dying, you'd start the level over again. So you can hold down the Y button, which will allow you to roll, and kind of get momentum, which you're going to need, if you expect to get all of the the eggs. So I can jump right now. I'm trying to get up on that up on the loop. Try again. Go back over here. Try this again. Go and oh, no, almost. I've tried doing this too. So, uh, well, let's try doing it without rolling. So we get enough momentum. Um, I love the fact that it pokes fun at Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> and just games in general. And I'm not gonna be able to get it. I'm just gonna end up having to miss the eggs like I did last time. Click the last, last bird, and you'll get the screen where it'll give the number of deaths you've done, and then the missing eggs will splatter on the screen. And there are ten levels per uh, per world, and then you have a boss at the end. I'll go and show you the, the first boss here. Um, again, very much heavily influenced by Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, that right there looks like Dr. Eggman, but it's obviously not. <laughs> For obvious reasons, but uh, but yeah, this game's uh, really really fun. Um, it's it's humorous. Uh, it definitely knows how to break the fourth wall uh, quite a bit and make fun of itself and what it's based on. Um, and just games in general. This game is amazing. Um, this game is actually a game that I've been that I've been really uh, looking forward to ever since it was announced. And uh, I'm really glad I was able to get a review code here from Hoff Studios. Um, this is an amazing game. Um, I cannot recommend this game enough. If you're a Sonic fan, you gotta check this game out. Um, it is available on all major platforms. Uh, it plays very well on the Switch for a 2D precision platformer. Um, if you get frustrated easily, you may not want to consider picking this up because, I mean, again, it is very difficult. Um, <laughs> in the uh, in the stage layout, and the, the, some of the levels can be unnecessarily long. I, I will give it that uh, as kind of a downside. Um, but uh, despite that, the game again, like I said, is very very fun uh, and definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of, of Sonic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the next world here. Big Top Bedlam. 
second level. And this introduces the The, um, what's the game call them? Uh, just, just launchers, I guess, doesn't have a name for them. Um, this game kind of reminded me of, like, the, um, uh, Casino Zone in Sonic 2. Just in the way that, just how colorful it is. Whoa. Uh, one hit, you're dead. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that yet or not. Um, so you hit those spikes, you're, you're toast. <laughs> you are, you're, 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 you're done. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, um, definitely heavily influenced, uh, heavily influenced by Sonic the Hedgehog, you can definitely tell that. Uh, but, but again, this game's amazing. Um, I cannot recommend this game enough. Uh, it's got, it's, it's got, you know, remnants of, of, uh, I was still Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, the the launchers uh, moving up and down like that definitely um, kind of remind me of uh, Donkey Kong Country back in the Super Nintendo. So you can definitely see where the influences are, and it definitely is a great game that stands on its own two feet in its presentation uh, and its gameplay um, and its its humor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely an amazing game, very colorful, very fun, very difficult, um, and definitely um, recommend this game. Um, if you're a fan of Sonic, if you're a fan of, uh, of Battle Kid or other position style platformers like uh, uh, Repit comes to mind, another game I covered on the channel recently, um, <laughs> this game is not to be missed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, interview here, guys. I want to thank Hoff Studios for the opportunity. I want to thank you for watching. If you want to get this game for yourself, I will leave a link to get the game in the description down below, as I always do. And I'll thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.